Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a new moon reading, another one. I already did one. I'll tag it to the end. If you've booked a reading with me in the last couple days and you didn't send me an email, you better send me an email because you have to. So, let's get started. What do we have? What do we have for around the 17th? The new moon. Three of Wands reversed, unprepared. Somebody is unprepared. They're, they're staying stuck. They're staying in the present. They should be focusing on the future, thinking about what's going to happen. Um, there's been some sort of delay. Um, lack of foresight. The Fool. The Fool is a new beginning. Taking a leap of faith. Stepping into unknown territory. Somebody is about to step into unknown territory. They may not know it, but they're about to. Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is love. Okay, it's an abundance of love. It's a flood of emotion. I think that uh, somebody's going to follow their heart, and they're going to they're going to take a leap of faith. And there's going to be emotion. It's going to be very emotional. Okay, it is going to be emotional. This is a new start in love. The hermit coming, the hermit reverse. This is coming out of hiding. It's time to socialize and reconnect. The tower. Well, of course, the tower is a change and it is a big change. It is a faded change. So we have a profound change here. Things are about to explode. Things are going to change very, very fast. There's going to be some sort of chaos because somebody is, is doing something spur of the moment. Okay, this is very spur of the moment. It's all of a sudden, very sudden. And it's going to be very emotional. So there's going to be a sudden change. It is very, very emotional. Uh, the tower is a disruption. It is a... <sighs> this is person appears to just be sick of it. I'm sick of it, you know. This person appears to be sick of it. I'm sick of doing this. Sick of building this up. It's not going to last. I might as well just go. Okay, I might as well just stop doing this. So somebody is deciding, they're deciding to leave it behind and jump. This is jump. Jump into uh, a new place. Jump into a new existence. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. This is free. I'm free. Breaking free. Somebody is breaking free from something. No fear. Letting go of fear. This is jumping forward in blind faith. I'm just doing it. Following their heart. Sick of being sick of the loneliness. They've already thought about it. They've already been in hermit mode. They're ready. They're ready for a new life. So we definitely have a new beginning here. This is definitely all of a sudden as well. So this is now the tower is some sort of disruption so there's going to be a disruption here it's a major disruption now this is uh, this is the ace of cups is about heart okay didn't see it coming totally did not see it coming Something is going to happen. Definitely spur of the moment. Unplanned. Totally unplanned. King of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person doesn't want to fight. They don't have any fight left. They may be losing their desire 
to fight. They don't they don't have any drive. They don't have any ambition. Uh, this person's going to be facing some sort of disruption, some sort of well, the tower is a surprise. This is definitely a surprise. Page of Swords reverse. Now this is bad news. Somebody's going to be receiving bad news. Could be from a sibling. Could be from a, a child. Could be from this. Could be a child. This could be a father. This uh, this is uh, not good news. Okay, somebody's going to be receiving good news about. I don't know. It could be a crash. It could be a crash. It could be a, a fall. Okay, this could be a fall, could be a crash, could be an outburst of some sort, um, an explosion, uh, angry, there could be a fight. Now the Hermit Reverse, the, this could be like a midlife crisis as well. This is going into exile, that we could have somebody here that is really sad, they're emotional, they decide to leave because the fool makes an impulsive decision. They decide to take a risk. They decide to break free. Somebody is breaking free, stepping into unknown territory. Totally, totally Oh God, my mind just went blank. Totally uh unprepared. Shock. This is a shock. This is shocking news. Somebody's going to be receiving shocking news. But that Ace of Cups is a new start in love. Somebody's going after happiness. They are going after happiness. But in order for whoever this person is to go after happiness, could be an Aries, whoever this person is that is going towards happiness has to... Stop building something up that isn't going to last. They have to stop building a false sense of security. They have to stop playing games. They have to face reality. So somebody is about to face reality. Now, this is, this is a clean slate and this is a clean slate. So we do have somebody here that is going to be starting with a clean slate. And it's all because of self-love. This is like self-love. You know, they're doing it because they're ready to for love. Okay. They're doing it out of love for, I don't know, maybe it's for their child or it could be love for themselves. I don't know. Now, this page of swords reverse is a message that you don't want to hear. There could be some unexpected conflict here or some unexpected news. This is unexpected. It is totally unexpected. Um, you could have somebody here that has some health problems, okay? Maybe it's extreme health problems. Two of Cups reversed, so this is separation. This is a separation. Uh, there is some sort of imbalance here. Like I said, there could be even be a fall. There could be a crash. Somebody could fall. They could fall to the ground. I mean, they could. They could. Somebody could trip and fall. I'm just being honest with you. Somebody could fall. I feel like there could be a divorce. There could be a separation coming up. This is the end of a partnership. This is losing a friendship. There could be some bullying. There's incompatibility. This is an unhappy couple here. And this is about love. So somebody, and this is somebody that's very decisive, but this is impulsive. So somebody is making an, a, a decision to step out of this union, to step out of this partnership. They are. They're breaking free. Somebody breaking free from a partnership. And this partnership could be with anybody. Okay? This is a union that is not compatible. This person um, is slipping away. They're sneaking away. They're running away. They're escaping the Seven of Swords reversed. This is an escape. Okay? This is uh, taking a new approach. They've been involved with some sort of unworkable plan. And it's like they just don't want to pretend anymore. 
I feel like they're taking a very, very, very big risk to break free from a partnership. And they're doing it because the heart wants. Well, the, it's false. Wherever they're at, it's false. It's a false sense of security. It's not stable. It's not real. It's not going to last. And, you know, that's why they're doing it. They're doing it because it's a false sense of security. There's no need to pretend. They have somebody else. There's somebody else here. This is a choice. They're making a choice and they're choosing somebody else. Somebody is choosing somebody else. They, they have a new soulmate connection or another soulmate connection. They're, they're headed towards a healing love. They're headed towards somebody that they're more in alignment with. So somebody is, I mean, this is a perfect match. It's a perfect union after a separation from someone, okay? Somebody is coming out of hiding after not, uh, after trying to build a false sense of security with someone that they didn't love. They're breaking free from, that's breaking free from that false sense of security. It's breaking free from that false sense of, or that false foundation. Somebody's going to be caught off guard. This person that they're in a partnership right now is going to be caught off guard. They're going to be caught off guard by this person's sudden decision to, to depart. I think this is a sudden departure. It's, a, it's like a sudden loss. All of a sudden, somebody blows. They blow. Two of Swords reversed. This is the delay. We've definitely had some delay. Somebody's been delaying their happiness and they've been living in a lonely place. You know, they've been in a partnership that where there was a lot of loneliness. They felt like they were alone anyway. And they had a lot of extreme worries and fears about uh, being rejected. So I think that's why they didn't step forward, why they were trying to still build that false sense of security because of their fears of rejection. But now, but now I feel like they're detaching. They're detaching from those fears. Somebody's facing their fears. They're about to face their fears and follow their heart right into a union, okay? They're about to face their fears and follow their heart right into a partnership that is meant to be, okay? This is a perfect match. We with a Gemini. We have Gemini. We have Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have everybody. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody here. It doesn't matter. But I think this is definitely uh, a separation from somebody that they are not compatible with. I think there could be a fight or an argument or some sort of uh, chaos. There could be... It looks like it's a fight to me or somebody just gets upset, you know, and they they lose control, you know, and they just decide to stop. They just be like, I'm not doing this anymore. Fuck it. Excuse my language. You know, it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to pretend, you know, and they... Decide. This is a... They, they, they take a leap of faith. They decide to... Uh, step into uh, a new life, right? It's like it's like leaving it all behind. I'm leaving this partnership behind. Somebody is leaving a partnership behind that just doesn't make them happy anymore, and they're doing it because their heart is for this union over here. This is an unexpected choice in love. Somebody is choosing somebody else. Unexpectedly, this is definitely very unexpected.
it's like it's time it's time for a change this is this is it this is temperance allow and accept change this is a time of change it's a time of you know being in harmony it's a time of cooperation and accepting that somebody has evolved it's like i've evolved i'm not here i don't want to be here i'm leaving that's what i see so i do see and i see a love connection here okay this is a kindred spirit with you know this is this is coming together with somebody that they do love and breaking apart breaking free from somebody that they don't and that's what we have here so i do feel like two people are going to be getting together they are going to be getting together and they are going to be uh falling in love they're going to be free to fall in love This this is uh, a healing love. It's meant to be. It's destined. This is starting over from scratch. Somebody's going to be starting over from scratch. They're facing their fears. So this one person that was that was choosing to build a false sense of security, it's just like all of a sudden says, "I'm not doing this anymore. Goodbye. I'm following my heart." And I think it, 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 it's an explosive energy as well. It's like, it's like this person just explodes and retreats. The hermit is about retreats. It's like they just retreat very, very quickly. But I think that they had some sort of loyalty to this other person for such a long time. Because this is divided loyalty that that, what, that is what was holding them back. But now they've changed and they've made the decision that they just want peace and harmony and it's time. It's time to come together with the one that they love. So if you are single, there is somebody here that is coming in unexpectedly. This person comes out of nowhere. Okay, this person, this, this is t totally unprepared for this person. Um, it's, it's absolutely a shock with that tower card. This is a shocking change. Um, I feel as though we have one connection that is, is ending and it's ending very quickly. I think it's very, as it, I feel like it's a sudden ending and I feel like there's a, a sudden new beginning. Okay. Endings lead to new beginnings. I think there's a sudden departure and a sudden arrival. Good luck.